this next activity is on data validation and essentially data validation is the process of software making sure that data entered by a user is correct. What we need to do though is firstly set in rules in the software so it knows what classifies as valid data. To do that in Microsoft Excel we go to the data tab and then we select data validation. Okay, and there's a drop down box here that aids us with those tools. Before I click on any of these buttons though, I'm going to highlight the cell range that I'm going to apply the validation rules to. So I'm going to go from E6 to A1, okay, and have that highlighted first, and then go data validation and click on the top one, which is data validation. Here I'm going to set my rules, and what I'm going to put as my rule is I'm going to look for whole numbers, which means no decimal points, okay, between the values of 0 and 100. And I'm going to go OK. So, so far, nothing happens. Okay, I'm then going to go to the data validation and go circle invalid data. As you can see straight away, anything that either lies outside of 0 to 100, such as the negative ones, or has a decimal point because it's not a whole number, as well as the actual values across the top because they aren't numbers at all, all get circled. So it's highlighted to me as the user that they are invalid data. Now, I'm going to clear those circles. Okay, and I'm actually going to set up some tools to aid me in ensuring that I'm putting in valid data into my spreadsheet. So I'm going to highlight all the cells once again. I'm going to go to data validation. Okay, and I'm going to go to input message. For the input message, I might write valid data. And then underneath it, data must be a whole number between 0 and 100, just as I've entered on my settings. Okay, I'm going to go OK, and then as I click around, you can now see a, a message box on the screen highlighting what valid data is to me as the user. Okay, so that way it helps me know what to put in into each cell that I've highlighted. I'm now going to highlight all the cells again, data validation, and I'm going to go to the final tab for error alert. Now, there are three types of error alerts. The first is a stop, which is this cross single, and it will not let you enter valid data. If valid data goes in, it will straight away give a warning and make sure you change the data. The second on the list is a warning, and if invalid data goes in, it tells you invalid data is there, but it gives you the option of changing the data straight away, or you can actually leave it there. Okay. And the final one is an information symbol, and it allows you to enter in the invalid data, but doesn't prompt you to change it. It just says the data is invalid and leaves it there. I'm going to do a warning, and I'm going to write invalid data, and I'm going to write data is not a whole number between... 0 and 100. I'm going to go OK and I'm going to try to change one of my values. So this 6 here, I'm going to try to change it to 300. Press Enter. Warning. Data is not a whole number between 0 and 100. Do I wish to continue? Now because it is a warning symbol, I can continue or I can go no and it makes me change it straight away. So I might make it 6 again and it's fine. Now I'll show you the difference of that and then if I did it as an actual error symbol. Okay, if I did it as a stop, okay, and I'm going to go OK once again, I'll change that to 300 again, enter. Data is not available between 0 and 100, just goes retry straight away. So there is no yes or no, okay, I have to change it straight away and I'll change it back to 6. So I hope this has all given you a bit of an understanding of the importance of data validation in spreadsheet software. Basically, that is checking the data that I'm entering. I can use it to highlight data that is deemed invalid by me as the user, how I set up the rules, and how I can also set up message boxes, okay, as well as warnings and different types of warnings to ensure that data entered into my spreadsheet is correct.